हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज हर्षिका एंड माय टुडे वीडियो इज अबाउट द क्राउन चक्र द मिस्टिकल क्राउन चक्र सहस्त्रार चक्र एंड द अदर नेम ऑफ क्राउन चक्र इज शून्य चक्र जीरो चक्र शून्य मींस नाउ देयर इज नो बिगनिंग एंड नो एंड नो एंड एंड नो बिगनिंग यू आर एवरीथिंग एंड यू आर नथिंग यू आर प्रेजेंट बट यू आर नॉट प्रेजेंट that the meaning of shunya you are still there but you are not there just like you are in the stage of meditation in a deep state of meditation you are still concentrating you are still in concentration but alert but alertness concentration and alertness together it's a state of meditation is zero state same crown chakra the meaning of crown chakra is uh, you are everything and you are nothing now there is no end and no beginning just that's why the crown chakra is called a zero chakra sahasra chakra is shunya chakra inside crown chakra is nothing and everything if you see the diagram of crown chakra inside crown chakra is is a symbol of zero if uh, if we focus about the mystical diagram of crown chakra inside crown chakra there is a inside is only a zero present just like all six chakra there is a one masculine and one feminine energy present symbols are present but inside crown chakra is a, only zero is present that's why the crown chakra is also called shunya chakra the zero chakra and in this video we are discussing about the mystical diagram of crown chakra the powers of crown chakra the symptom of awakening crown chakra the location of this chakra and why this chakra is blocked first the anatomical location of this chakra is skull is uh, behind your head and the top of the head this is bull area is crown chakra when your crown chakra is awaken your bull head is in control of crown chakra your brain is in is controlled by crown chakra your eyes eye movement your nose your ears your tongue your words all this is in control by crown chakra when your crown chakra is awakened the crown chakra is totally different from all six chakra the crown chakra is a, is a integration of all all six chakra the crown chakra is a is a high highly is a higher consciousness the crown chakra is a seat of your soul the seed the seed of your divine spirit the seed of your higher self so if we see the mystical diagram of crown chakra inside crown chakra is a symbol of zero present the only zero first in tantra the crown chakra describe as inside a crown chakra is a moon a very beautiful shining moon and there is a no dot present and this moon is symboling a purity a pure level of consciousness highly purity is as a symbol of moon this moon is different from full moon like so much brightly shine this moon and inside this moon a uh, triangle is present upper triangle is present and inside this triangle a dot a dot zero is present inside this triangle zero is present nothing just zero and inside this zero shiva and shakti together present in ardha nareshwar form it mean half part is divine masculine lord shiva and half part is divine feminine lord shakti together present so and uh, its meaning of this when shiva and shakti is together the state is zero 
so have you seen the symbol of infinity symbol of yin yang symbol of shivling and um, these three symbols are uh, meaning is exactly same the meaning of infinity is zero because the two perfectly circle join together one circle represent divine masculine and one circle represent divine feminine just like number 11 and 11 both are mirroring numbers and when you just calculated the minus 11 minus 11 is zero same the meaning of infinity symbol is zero the meaning of shivling is zero and the shivling of uh, sorry and the meaning of yin yang is zero and the zero means now there is no end and no beginning so inside crown chakra is is a only zero symbol is present and the and this zeros and this dot is a highly powerful it connects thousands of angels thousands of devi devta are inside crown chakra thousands of angel are present inside crown chakra the crown chakra is a thousands of petal rotated it not just uh, 96 or like we are we are uh, lower chakras is eight petals or four petals the crown chakra rotated in thousands of petals so the inside this thousands of petal emitting a spiritual power each and every petal emit emitting a specific spiritual power and each and every every petal have has a inside each and every petal a uh, angel is present so so, so the tantra say inside this uh, thousand of petals all akshar of hindi alphabets and all akshar of english alphabets and all numerological numbers are present in this thousands of petal so and uh, the when this uh, when this ch chakra is awakened it uh, gives the state of bliss enlightenment because crown chakra is a uh, highly powerful and uh, so this is a diagram of crown chakra so crown chakra is nothing and everything so and this is a integration as i told it is a integration of all seven chakra it is a place of our higher self it is a place when your crown chakra is awakened your soul leave this physical body through crown chakra if your crown chakra is blocked then uh, the soul the prana shakti leaves leave this physical body through nose eyes mouth ears or or lower organs and just goes in lower dimension but when your crown chakra is awakened your soul leave your prana shakti leaves through crown chakra and you never never incarnated this physical body again your karmic life cycle is complete when your crown chakra is awakened the mantra of crown chakra it's nirmala nirmala means the pure purest state of consciousness the higher state of consciousness and in tantra language the crown chakra inside crown chakra there is a dot it's also compare a seed a seed of chickpea like and this seeds resemble like uh, compare or resembling like shiva and shakti half part is divine masculine and half part is divine feminine together and when shiva and shakti is together the stage is shunya means zero so the and the powers of uh, crown chakra if we if i talk about the powers of crown chakra to 
so there is no specific powers of of crown chakra because the person who awaken crown chakra is a balanced person is the that person do anything in their life and that person do actually do anything the power of crown chakra the first power of crown chakra is manifestation crown chakra inside crown chakra deeply rooting the holding a uh, deeply rooted the power of manifestation what you are dreaming you just physically manifest all your dreams and your dreams becomes reality the dreams come true that's a power of crown chakra second power of crown chakra is a claro audience means you just uh, um you just come you just intuitively you just uh, communicate with the spirits you just make a communication with spirits you can hear the voice of spiritual beings you can directly hear the voice of god goddess angels with your with your physical ears and that's the ability of hearing the ability of hearing beyond physical you are not actually hear this voices to uh, to your uh, to your physical ear but you know you just uh, you just uh, consciously hearing all this voice but that voice is not come from physical plane and the only difference between to be a claro audience person and the mental Ill illness is a very minor you can control these voices when you want to hear a message from spirit you can hear when you don't want to hear you just control just stop the voice of spirits the voice of angels is very gentle it's a, a genuine voice and this voice gives you a lots of answer so this is a different and this is a main difference from like a claro audience person and the and and the person who have a mental illness so in early stages when of claro audience it's like so confusing actually because you are in human self and you you are uh, you always in doubts and fears and you are not trusting this voice but the crown chakra gives you that the power of claro audience and you are just clearly hear the message of you are just clearly channeling from spirit spirit word and getting message and share this message to other through channeling so that is the second main power of crown chakra and the third power of crown chakra is the ultimate power of intuition now beyond limit the person who awaken crown chakra is having a most powerful intuition no matter what that person intuition is never going to be a field the most powerful intuition you get when your crown chakra is awakened you get all type of intuition power like dream intuition gut feeling synchronicity message you just communicate when you want you just want to communicate you can communicate anyone in spiritual realm you wants to communicate in lower dimension or higher dimension you can channel anyone and that the mystical power you get from crown chakra a person who awaken crown chakra is a, a balanced person this person is very stable not like that indecisive person if that person is so uh, so stable so balanced this so quiet so introvert type because that person getting direct answer from crown chakra so that is the power of crown chakra crown chakra always gives a mystical experience the mystical experience is like like that you not logically explain but you actually intuitively know 
knowing everything you are just connect with higher consciousness and that's the power of crown chakra now the signs and symptoms of awakening crown chakra when your crown chakra physical symptoms is uh, so much when you have this physical symptoms you easily know your crown chakra is awakened or in awakening stage when your crown chakra is awakened you start to feeling just like uh, on you start feeling in your skull like someone is sticking with rods or needle on your skull on your back on your back skull just like sharply someone is sticking with rod and needles from your skull and you just lost control in skull you are just lost control of your head you can't the movement of head is not in your control when your crown chakra is awakened the movement of head is in control by crown chakra because uh, you sometimes uh, someone ask you for advice and you give a perfectly advice this is my experience when someone ask me for advice and sometimes i don't know the answer but i give him a but i i give him a fantastic advice because the words is not mine the tongue is mine but the words are from spirit the spirit inside me the words coming through crown chakra so so that is the power of crown chakra when your crown my personal of experience of crown chakra is a lot because this is a first chakra i awaken in this uh, in this life i am not i'm i'm sorry to say in this life i am not awakening crown chakra this crown chakra i get from past life since childhood when i am 5 to 6 years old i just feel a sensation in my crown chakra i just to feel like someone sticking rod in in behind my skull in my back side and i at that age i am do i just don't know what is that but uh, when i am in school when i'm joining in school in 6th or 7th class in 6th class i have a subject to uh, is yoga science and 6th uh, to 10th class i continue to uh, study yoga and science so in yoga i uh, i know all the asanas and all the pranayam i study and in my school there is a special subject yoga and special exam con conduct on yoga and science so i i know about i just practicing all the asan all the kriyas all pranayams or and that's why and i just know about this and the all chakras so in early ages in a, in my early age i know about this crown chakra and when i am in a, in class uh, 10th is uh, 14 years old in class 10 when i am 14 years old i am just sure about this this is my crown chakra this uh, pain i am feeling from childhood this is actually a crown chakra because in early childhood i am interesting in spirituality i am just i am a person who is uh, love to at that age i am just love to spend times in temples in gurudwara in churches all three and i just feel the same energy in in all three place, places so i just love to meditate and uh, i just love to meditate on that age to still now and uh, my experience is like that and one day my yoga teacher uh, i'm just curious so i asked the ma'am ma about the kundalini and she was describing me she she said uh, the serpent form the divine shakti is sleeping in everyone the serpent form so 
when she describe all this thing i just come back go home and i just imagine i imagine it about kundalini and what and at that time i am just uh, 10 years old so i am not a spiritual practice i am not a person who just starting spiritual practice just uh, in two or three years i just uh, now i am 10 years i am continue doing meditation 10 years now still now 10 years continue so my kundalini is awaken not to buy not just a spontaneous kundalini awaken just like i see many of the people many videos uh, some uh, most of people describing i just get up and sudden shakes uh, uh, sudden tremors i feels in my lower back in my in my pressure in my in my skull and i and my kundalini is awaken i'm not i'm i don't have that same story because i am already aware about this topic in my early childhood and i and i know about all these things at that age so the and so my personal experience of crown chakra is my childhood since my childhood and i know the all symptoms crown chakra personally and the last year my complete kundalini is awaken the all seven chakras and and i i have all experience in but the crown chakra experience is so so much deep for me so i know when your crown chakra is awaken your head your voice your eyes your nose is not in your control your expression is actually not in your control this is actually controlled by a spirit world the spirit inside you and and no matter if you are highly spirit if you are a sadhak of shakti like you are you are doing a lots of sadhana uh, in uh, mahakali sadhana or uh, goddess worship a uh, goddess sadhana so your first chakra is awaken is crown chakra so when your crown chakra is awaken uh, you you feels a lot of headache extreme headache this is not a normal headache this is a extreme level of headache pain in head you feels sometime you are just too much tired you just sleep a very deep sleep and sometime you don't sleep just awaken at all night awaken at all day and this is a symptom of crown chakra you actually feel a lots of pressure because the awakening of crown chakra is always painful before awake when your awakening of crown chakra is starting and uh, and your crown chakra is finally awake you still there is a physical symptom there is a highly high physical symptoms of crown chakra awakening you feel a lots of pain and pressure in your head lots and uh, but the crown chakra gives you a state of bliss still i like this pain and pressure i always like so still now i also feel a lots of pressure in my head area but still i like this pressure because i know this is my crown chakra this is a kundalini pressure inside me so this is a symptom of awakening crown chakra after crown chakra is awaken you feel detached the crown chakra easily detach you you have a quality to detach emotionally detach when you just de- decided the crown chakra just immediately detach you from toxic relationship no matter you are love this person deeply two or three years but when you just decided to leave this person you just immediately detached and you having a no feeling no feeling and no much uh, emotional issue just uh, crown chakra gives you a period of isolation a long period of isolation you are a long period in isolation and you love this isolation you love 
time spending alone. That's the power of crown chakra because uh, crown chakra when your crown chakra is awakened, you are not like you are not liking a crowded place. You are totally detached from that. Don't like you like isolation. You like the uh, close to natures. You don't like like just like going in pubs and uh, like other uh, watching TV serials. So these ha habits are automatically automatically change when your crown chakra is awakened. Your you just see your aura is reflecting. My experience is like that. Uh, your aura is so much reflecting, and you see your animals or small children reflect, just reflect to attract toward yours. Attract. You just see the animal attract attract toward you. Just see an animal continuously watching you. Just see a uh, small children's continuously watching you, or just uh, ch uh, small children continuously crying when you go close this children the, the children stop crying because of uh, your aura so crown when your crown chakra is awakened the color of crown chakra is white actually the color of crown chakra is white and the white is a mixture of all seven colors the all seven color present inside crown chakra and the crown chakra reflecting a white color actually so some people say uh, in my research i just found the color of crown chakra is two types one is white and one is purple so and both are frequencies difference in both color but the actual color of crown chakra is white so this is a physical uh, symptom of crown chakra because you immediately know your crown chakra is awakened when you feel a too much pressure on your head area and you feel uh, someone sticking a rod in your back side and you feel pressure and painful experience of awakening crown chakra and the last is why your crown chakra is blocked your crown chakra is a block the reason why this chakra is blocked this chakra is a block when you do a wrong wrong things when you do a wrong things in your life like you are following a wrong guru wrong religious practice uh, wrong people's bad company these uh, things wrong, bad karma just like you are follow a wrong guru you are uh, follow a wrong religion practice so this is the main thing crown chakra is completely broke when you are just uh, just busy in uh, blind in religion or religious dogma it affects crown chakra and your crown chakra is permanently blocked when you are just blind in lust like seven sins you are blind in lust and so your crown chakra is blocked you just never awaken crown chakra when you are in a company of bad people you are in surrounding of bad people a people all always drinking always abusive always your friends are so abusive or in in wrong direction just like he taking uh, alcohol or drugs or just go with prostitutions and you are the person who continues seeing a uh, pornology so this is you never awaken your crown chakra if you are follow a wrong guru uh, you don't you just completely blind with that guru you are not losing you just you losing your all consciousness all your senses and you just blindly follow all these rituals your crown chakra is completely blocked and uh, you never awaken your crown chakra if you are doing these things if you just cheat with someone like uh, in sex in a love relationship after sex 
you leave this person so that that sexual karma is adding in your karma and you never awaken your crown chakra because anything any sins you do in your life like uh, you are so greedy you are so jealous so these things completely blocked crown chakra and the main thing who blocking crown chakra is a uh, wrong pattern of worship and wrong just wrong pattern of worship you are following so this uh, this things completely blocked crown chakra so if you want to awaken crown chakra you just to change all these habits because if this habits inside your crown chakra never going be awaken and uh, sorry i just two more powers of a person who awaken crown chakra it's always a divine protection it's always safe and the divine guidance divine protection and divine guidance a person who awaken crown chakra is always in divine guidance immediately he, he you get a divine guidance the solution of your all problems and the protection the divine protection you get you are always protected when your crown chakra is awake so thank you for watching and one of your question you asked me what is the mandelan effect and in spiritual awakening the nelson mandela is a person who is uh, who is who is dead in 19 is is the dead in 2013 but the most of the people believes they are dead in 1983 and there the that's a majority of people who believe this and this is a false information so the mandelan effect is a false is a false impression in our brain not in our brain this is a collective unconscious the collect is a is everyone just follow same pattern just like in religions in in religion the if uh, if one person says like a black cat is a evil black cat is evil and when a cat cross a road you don't go if you go the bad is happening in you and the majority of people all people believe this so this is a myth a cat it's uh, nature make god make cat why cat is so evil think about it the god creates everything god creates animal plants humans so why black cat is so evil and when your cat cross a road you are not and you are believing now something bad happened to you and the majority of uh, people believe this and that is a myth and if this myth is present your crown chakra is broke because personally i never believe this type of myths so this is a mandelan effect is same the false impression in our brain and why the all people believe same thing because uh, unconscious mind divided into two the personal conscious and the uh, collective unconscious so collective conscious is a collection of all things like uh, is collection of society religion how we live our life who i am is uh, about uh, the information about genetic information about about uh, how we lived how we follow this pattern of society so you see the everyone is society just follow same pattern that is a collective consciousness everyone is uh, same at the level of collective unconscious so this is your answer and thank you for watching my videos and thank you for like subscribe my channel and um, and anyone who and those of you who asking me for guidance and who asking me from readings 
I am giving readings or not, just send me an email. Uh, you can contact me through email. And yes, I am giving the reading. And before that, I am just to also giving a reading, reading about psychic reading, birth chart reading, and the guidance. Those of you who wants me personal guidance or wants me the readings, email me. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. And thank you so much for your likes, subscribes and share my channel. Thank you.